Alrighty, so uh, Merlin just came out with her new uh, like chef's outfit or whatever. It's for the Hawk Pass. And since that is out, uh, where is it? Yeah, this this outfit right here, that's the hair that goes with it. And then she has like a little pepper shaker as like a weapon, which I think is kind of funny. Uh, not really big on the, uh, the chef outfit sort of gimmick that they seem to keep doing for some reason. But uh, I mean, I guess it's because it's, you know, the tavern uh, is the main gimmick of the show, kind of, I guess. But uh, I do like the hairstyle for it. So we're gonna mess around with uh, Merlin a little bit since she got some extra cosmetics. Um, and I wanted to test out the, the unknown team. Obviously, this isn't like the biggest one that people use. A lot of people swap out Gother for Goddess Liz, um, which is uh, just amazingly toxic. So I didn't want to be like that guy. So I'm going to use Gother just to try to help, you know, buff up some cards and stuff like that. Amelia is toxic enough on her own that I don't really feel like I need Liz to just add to people's misery. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I, uh, I kind of missed out on the chance to sort of mess with uh, Amelia as much as I wanted to because she's really, really good. Um... And I wanted to make UR gear for her really bad whenever she first came out, but I ended up prioritizing Rim and Rom over her just because uh, she's like Mega Whaler's unit. Like you want to have like tons of ult gauge and stuff like that on her. And uh, I only, I, I say only, uh, I did get her to 4-6, um, which I think is pretty good on its own. But I definitely didn't like max her out like a lot of people went for. Like a lot of people were like, wow, like when they seen Amelia on the JP and Korean side of the game, they were like, dude, like she's legit, like super good, super busted. So um, in that regard, they uh, they tried to whale as much as they could whenever she hit the global servers, um, which I understand. I definitely I get it. But uh, I don't know. I just. I don't really like playing super, super toxic teams. And I just watched the video from Nagato earlier today where he was trying out, uh, I think he was doing like a meme team that somebody had made on um, JP that was like, he was like rank two or something like that. And I he was talking about how the, the unknown team is still like the top tier team, which I had no idea about because I, <laughs> if you've been around for a while, I don't play, um, geared pvp much at all if any so i have basically just been in the dark about the whole thing because i don't play high tier level pvp i don't care to it's really just not my thing um and i i completely accept that at this point uh, i do like merlin a lot though she's a very good like pve utility unit and stuff like that like gray demons have never been easier so uh, i figured it would be just kind of fun to mess around with her a little bit so yeah, I don't know. I would still like to give Amelia UR gear, but because I'm not a big PvE guy and she's not really, or because I'm not a big PvP guy and she's not really all that good for PvE, I've never really just bit the bullet on it. <laughs> so, um, I don't know. I might eventually in the future, I do have enough right now to make one full UR set. Um, and I pretty much already have everything squared away for Margaret whenever she drops and etc. So... I don't know, I may make one, but for now, I'm not really all that interested. So um, I'm wondering if we can type disadvantage here. He's obviously a little bit lower CC than I am. Um, so I kind of want to just one shot Arthur here if possible. Nice, that might have been overkill <laughs> with as low as his CC was. I feel really bad because I, I know I say this a lot when I do PvP videos and elite PvP, but I just don't like geared PvP. It's just not fun to me. And because I don't play it, I always get deranked because in geared PvP, you don't keep your rank, you don't like keep it, you don't stay in the same bracket as you do when you play ungeared PvP. So it's kind of just super annoying. Um, like I would much rather them I like I get it you're not you're not gonna they don't want you to keep the same rewards and stuff like that but honestly the rewards really aren't anything to like cry about regardless so I don't know it just it's just one of those things and uh yeah uh I don't know if I should go for the dissolve here I think I go for an attack seal and then we can just go for a freeze after this 
I wasn't really ex uh, sure what to expect going against a bomb team with this, but uh, I mean, doing pretty all right so far. Obviously, his CC is super low. Like if he was if he was like on on par with me, he would probably do much much better. But uh, you know how it is. Alrighty, so let's put on a dissolve, I guess, and then we'll put that on, and then I don't know, maybe freeze. I maybe should have saved that freeze to be honest, but I might even kill Gother here. I'm definitely killing Twiggo. Alright, I didn't quite kill Gother. That is fine. I don't play with red Gother a whole lot anymore, and I know that he's he's 6 6 and my green Gother is only 2 6 so I never know how to gauge the ultimate damage on him anymore, because I really just don't play with him. Why would he not... I mean, this might be a bot. Uh, it feels like a bot. Um, <laughs> I don't know why they wouldn't just well i don't know i guess if it's a bot it makes sense but uh, that would have made a lot more sense to merge and then uh like attack seal but uh, whatever all right uh let's hit the next match all righty what do we got we have another bond team uh still pretty pretty low cc not terrible but let's go for uh, I don't think I can kill this turn, but let's see. Do you have? I do have all of my like stuff. Uh, not nearly as good as I was expecting it to. Which then again, I didn't crit there, so that kind of makes sense. Uh, we got another one. We we do have one freeze. I could attack seal as well, which might be kind of good. Okay, he's hitting Gother. I feel like I'm really, really tanky. I don't know if that's because of Rom in the back or like what's going on, but uh, <laughs> it's uh, doing a lot of good. Let's go for the rank up here, hit, and then maybe put on a dissolve. All right, we did crit that time, and it did 50k extra damage. So that was definitely worth it. Put on a dissolve. So we go in the back, of course. I do see, like, surprisingly, I see a, like a decent amount of people running um, the red Grimoire, which I guess is fine. I think Twiggo probably is a little bit better, but I can, I guess I can understand, like, if you've been playing the game for a while, Red Griamore was decently, like, strong whenever, like, Mono Red was going on and stuff like that, like, way, way back in the day. So, I guess maybe if people already had, like, some resources and stuff like that, like, poured into him, then it would make sense, but I don't know. I don't know that I would really choose that over, um, Whatchamacallit, I don't know that I would choose that over Twiggo, really. Because it's not like Twiggo's hard to get. Like, obviously, you probably don't want to pour a lot of resources into him, because why would you? But that's just kind of like the nature of the team. Like, if you want it to be top tier, you just kind of have to go for it. Um... All right, we're in a little bit of a pickle here because I can't freeze him. He's got ultimate. Well, I'm, I'm done. Uh, we're not really in a pickle here. I guess let's just go for our all three ults here. Maybe I'll lifesteal a decent bit here for Gother. I'm kind of worried about him dying, but... This will actually be pretty good, too, because I'll infect, which means they can't recover from... Uh, Bond's pass it or his uh, blue card, which is kind of nice. Honestly, his blue card is such an annoyance. So I'm kind of glad that she has an infect card. Like, that's honestly very nice. Alright, this should deal a fair damage or a fair bit of damage. Yep, pretty big there. Gother's going down. I still have two ults in hand, though, so maybe not the smartest idea. 
Um, we have a lot of cards in hand for Amelia, so I think we just go for something like... Uh, this, I guess. Because she has the same sort of thing that Lost Vein has with Secret Technique. Yeah, 644k. Not bad. Um, alrighty. Alrighty, another Bond team. I really feel like I don't normally see that many Bond teams. His CC is pretty low. Uh, I feel bad for that. We're just gonna get Arthur down first try. Maybe I kind of, not that I want him to forfeit, but I, I feel bad for him and I don't want to draw, like, draw this out as much as possible. That was, that was very close to killing. I'm kind of surprised I didn't kill. That was 250k. Huh. Very interesting. I feel like I say very interesting a lot lately, and I really don't know why. Okay. No Arthur stance. Interesting play. I kind of would have saved that detonate card, but without Arthur, you're not going to be able to maximize it as much. I kind of understand. Um, let's go for the infect. And I think we'll go dissolve. Dang, I don't, did that, all of that come from that one card on Escanor? It did, holy, wow. Honestly though, like, I don't know if this guy's a, I, I would imagine he's probably a newer player, but man, he has got to get level 90 on that Escanor. Like, it's already weird enough that he's running the Bond team without a level 90 Bond. And I do understand that the Belmoth raids are pretty difficult. Like, if, if you don't have somebody to run it with and stuff, it can be kind of hard to get those materials. But, shoo. I couldn't imagine, like, actively playing PvP and stuff like that without, you know you know, running top units. And I <laughs> that seems hypocritical because I have a level 80 <laughs> Amelia and a level 80 Rom. But like I said, I just don't really play PvP all that often. Um, so, yeah. Let's go for a dissolve, I guess. I don't really have a need to freeze at the moment. That killed... That <laughs> I don't know what to say about that. All right, so he pretty much can't attack me. He can put up his bond buff if he really wants to. But as long as I can infect, which I don't have infect cards right now, uh, it's really not that big of an issue. I think I just go for something like this. Was that a level three attack seal that I put on? I think it was. Bam. So now he can't do any damage. I can't tell if this was a real player or not because he did throw up the GG thing, but then again, the bot always kind of throws up a like a random uh, emote, I guess. It might have just been luck of the draw that it was that emote. All right, I feel bad for this guy. I, I like, see, I hate doing geared showcases because. I, <laughs> I feel bad when I go against players like this because I shouldn't be in this bracket. I really feel like they should, like... I, I can understand to an extent them not wanting you to stay in a certain bracket, but I honestly think that unless you're going for, like, top 100 or something like that, make it to where you can get to, like, Masters or Champion or whatever the case may be, like, right before the top. Um... Make it to where you can get to that and stay in that as a geared player because like, sure, you probably aren't gonna have the best gear for the for your brand new teams or whatever like that. Like if, say the meta changed tomorrow, like say Bond came out tomorrow and you know, I was like, oh wow, like I, I don't have the materials and stuff like that to invest into Bond. Like, I mean, nothing's stopping me from just running the Escanor team that has been relevant for a long time, so. What is happening here? My man. Uh, that is a deathmatch unit, my friend. I don't know about that. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. Just like... 
it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Like, I understand, like, a lot of the times the meta gets overridden and stuff like that. And, like, whatever the case may be, like, say say whatever unit comes next drops and they're really, really good against Escanor and it makes Escanor pretty bad. Um, you know, obviously you're going to be like, wow, I can't use Escanor in PvP right now because, you know, I this new unit's out and he's just going to clap me if I play PvP. Um, then... I don't know. That would be obviously a bad case, like bad situation, but I think it would help out a lot of the newer players and stuff like that because obviously you shouldn't have to deal with, you know, playing against people who aren't even in your league. I don't know if any of that made sense or whatever, but just know I have good intent with <laughs> what I'm saying. Hopefully, I mean, there's a lot of things wrong with the PvP in this game. Don't get me wrong. But, you know, this this shouldn't be an issue. Like, me playing against people who are well below me. Like, it, it should at least, if, <laughs> even at the very least, if it can't find someone close enough to me in CC, like, if I'm using this almost, you know, I'm, I'm almost using a 290k CC team, um, I should, at the very least, be going against a bot with relatively high CC, I feel like. And I know you could say, oh, well, that would be, you know, cheesing the system. You'd be able to just clap bots all day long. Sure. But if I'm clapping bots all day long, I'm going to rank up and get to a bracket where I would be playing against people who are close to my CC. So I really don't think that would be too much of an issue, really. Um, I don't know. There's, I'm not a game designer. I'm not here to <laughs> tell you how to how to make a game. But it just seems like a no-brainer to me. Plus the PV, like the PVP shop in this game, like there's, what what do I have to gain from actually grinding out PVP? Like the guy that I was, uh, I know I did a video on Assault Meliodas. Uh, in 4v4 the other day and the guy that I got the team from was like grinding super hard to get you know top top player in ungeared pvp and he literally came in eighth place and because he wasn't in top three he basically didn't get anything besides like six super awakening coins and that just seems like a huge slap in the face like he got eighth in the world and <laughs> He only got a couple of Super Awakening coins. Like, that's very, very much a letdown. I don't know. This has been a little bit more ranty than I expected it to be. Obviously, the Unknown team is still insanely toxic. Uh, Merlin really didn't get that much of a boost by getting those cosmetics, but I do like Merlin a little bit, so I thought it would be kind of fun to just mess around with. Um, and I don't know. I guess I've got some weird PvP ranty feelings out there. So, I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know anything i don't know comment i'll i'll write you back <laughs> but anyway that's pretty much it thank you guys so much for watching feel free to subscribe for more content in the future and i'll see you guys in the next one